Good afternoon, uh, founder. Jelfa Barma Kavale Iboda Mahedi. Just sort of <laughs> panic the translator there by speaking well. Uh, so thank you very much for the, the invitation to speak here today. So I'm, I'm going to talk about the, the work that we've done um, with the National Library of Wales. And it began four years ago, um, when we, that was when we began working formally together, um, when I was appointed as the Wikipedian in residence for a year. And the original aim of the residency was to share images to Wikimedia Commons and hold a series of training events for staff and members of the public so that they could edit Wikipedia. And the project saw really good results. So two years on, after several extensions, the library decided to appoint a permanent national Wikimedian to ensure that they're able to keep engaging with Wikimedia in the long term. So why did the library choose to invest in sharing with Wikipedia? Um, there's numerous other platforms the library could use to share open content. But the answer for us is impact um, or reach. The library had already made the strategic decision to um, not to claim copyright on um, digital reproductions of public domain works. So working with Wikipedia was primarily about actively pursuing that policy to get the maximum impact from it. So Wikipedia has over 40 million articles in around 300 languages, um, and we have over 100,000 articles in Welsh. And it gets 800 million visits a month. So it's one of the world's most viewed websites. Um, so the collaboration was primarily about impact and exposure for our collections with a global audience. And if you think about the, the mission of libraries and museums, galleries, in the context of the digital age, um, what they really say is that we are there to give access to recorded knowledge, to history. And this, this is the statement for the National Library of Wales. It doesn't say there anywhere that we have to give access through a particular building or on a particular website. We simply have to give access to the people to the information that we hold. And of course, these days, most people, if they want to know something, they Google it. Um, if they don't end up on Wikipedia, Alexa or um, Google, if you ask a question, it normally just retrieves the information from Wikipedia anyway. So if Wikipedia is the global shop front uh, for information, it makes sense that we are inside as institutions, um, improving quality and being seen. So some people will just window shop they will just take the information they need and leave. Others will want to dig a little deeper and they might end up linking back to your library website um, via references or image links. So this is um, a rough idea of what we've achieved in terms of the impact of sharing images with Wikimedia Commons. So we've shared around 17,000 images so far and we've seen about 630 million image views um, in Wikipedia articles since the beginning of the project, which is slightly less than Alice and Welcome, I think, but they've shared a lot more images. So. <laughs> but if you compare this to the image, uh, the views on our, on our own website, we have around 2 million views a year on the National Library website. So to get this, the same kind of exposure, it would take over 130 years. So that's one of the main reasons why, why we are sharing with Wikipedia. We kind of expected big figures for image views based on the results of other uh, residencies. But what we didn't anticipate was the increased interest and reuse of our collections as a result um, of sharing. We saw a big increase in the interest of our collections from the media and on social media. And we've got some, some good reuse cases. 
So here are two examples. The first image is um, a simple sketch of a man searching for water using a divining rod. So the image was used in the Wikipedia article for dowsing, where the Guardian newspaper, a big newspaper in the UK, they picked up on the image because they wanted to write a piece about this. Um, and the article that they wrote was shared 28,000 times on social media. And then other news outlets and bloggers picked up on the story and they shared it too. And if you do a reverse image search online now, that image is in nearly 30 different websites online. The second image is moving. Um, this is Sir John Williams. He's the founder of the National Library of Wales. And his portrait was picked up for a GIF competition. Um, and the lady who did this, she wrote an article about the processes she used to animate the, port the painting. Um, and that was shared widely on social media. And a version of this is now used on Europeana's error page. So if you get an error on Europeana, you see our image. So we, we secretly hope that the Europeana website breaks quite a lot so that more people can, can see our image. Our images have also been used in books, like this one here. And most of the people who have reused our content have actually contacted us, even though there's no obligation to do so. Uh, these are on CC0. Um, and they've said that the only reason they've been able to use this content is because it's free. If you'd had to have paid, um, they probably wouldn't have bothered or they wouldn't have had the funding to do it. This is another example. This is a, an 1840s map overlaid on top of a modern map. And this was picked up by a mapping enthusiast on Twitter after we released the old map um, to Wikimedia Commons. And again, he wrote a blog about it. It got shared widely online um, and did well on social media. So as the residency progressed, we began to realize that the power of Wikipedia as an engagement tool we discovered it was a ready-made platform where volunteers could contribute on a huge range of topics, backed by this huge community of experienced editors. So we've held Wikipedia Editathon events on a huge range of subjects, from uh, medieval Welsh law to pop music and the Rugby World Cup. And with each event, we try to secure an expert on the subject um, to assist and inspire editors. And whenever possible, we encourage people to use media from the National Library in things they create or to cite sources from the National Library of Wales. However, we learned quite early on that referral rates from Wikipedia to our own website were never going to be huge. Um, they're never going to come close to organic traffic. So instead, we saw the events as a way of engaging the community with our collections. So we've seen people attend these events who would never normally visit the library. Um, we've collaborated with universities, local archives, um, Welsh government organisations. And because Wikipedia is available in hundreds of languages, people can contribute in whatever language they like, on whatever topic they like. And it's been really great. We've held events where you have volunteers, academics, members of the public, all in one room, talking to each other, working together to improve content on Wikipedia. And the library has a volunteer scheme. Um, and we now offer Wikipedia editing as a task to all prospective volunteers at the library. And we're able to tailor tasks to suit the individual needs and interests and skill levels of those volunteers. Um, so we've had people performing detailed tasks, researching and writing long um, articles on Wikipedia. 
right down to people creating stub articles of just a couple of sentences. And it's now one of the most popular options with volunteers at the National Library. And just as the tasks can be tailored to individual interests, we can also tailor them to the interests of the National Library. So for example, we've done a lot of work with volunteers uh, creating articles for historical Welsh newspapers and journals with links to our online resources. And we have volunteers creating articles for people in the Dictionary of Welsh Biography, which is a website that we manage. So as long as um, your subject meets the notability criteria on Wikipedia, and it, the content isn't biased in any way, there's nothing wrong with encouraging the creation of content which raises awareness um, directly about collections that you hold. So what about the data? I haven't really talked about Wikidata yet, so from now on that's pretty much all I'm going to talk about. Um, we start, when we started collaborating with Wikimedia, Wikidata was new, we didn't really understand it, and it wasn't really on the agenda um, for the library residency. However, we have been increasingly interested in the potential uses for Wikidata as time has gone on. And over the last year or two, a lot more of our focus has been on sharing content via Wikidata. So initially, our interest in Wikidata was about giving added value to digital images that we had already shared on Wikimedia Commons. Anyone who's used Wikimedia Commons will know that, although it's improving, it's not very easy to find content. Um, and the data templates that they provide don't always allow you to share all the metadata that you might have um, for a collection. So we experimented with mapping our image metadata to Wikidata. So we were lucky enough to attract a Wikidation to, to work with us um, as a volunteer, um, as a visiting scholar. And he helped us to find the best way of getting our data into Wikidata. So here you can see an image from our Welsh landscape collection. And this is one of the first big collections that we shared to Wikimedia Commons, and the first big uploads to Wikidata also. <laughs> And we soon realized that Wikidata could act as a platform for sharing our open data, uh, one that was far more cost effective than creating our own open data access point, um, and one that came with lots of additional benefits as well, as I will try and demonstrate. So for example, we could easily use Wikidata's Sparkle endpoint to query and visualize the data that we had shared. Here you can see the Welsh landscape collection plotted on a map using place name metadata tags, which had been converted uh, and mapped to Wikidata items for those places, which have geolocation data, so we can put this data on a map for the first time. Because Wikidata is multilingual, you can add labels in any language. So we can take our metadata, which is usually only available in English, and make it available in Welsh, which is very important to us, but also in a number of other languages, like French. Here we can see a visualization of data from our Welsh portrait archive which plots the changing trends in the type of people depicted in that collection over time. And this is a visualization of the relationships between merchant ships in our shipping record collection and the owners of those ships. So clearly there's a lot of potential in terms of research but um, we've also found that it improves access to our collections. So using a third party uh, website called Krotos, we can explore and filter our collection in a number of ways. We can view the interface in dozens of languages, 
um, and we've actually added Welsh to the interface here as well. So we can search within a particular collection. We can search by date. We can expand and see linked data for each image. And we can narrow our search by artist, publisher, method, um, and also what is depicted within the images. On our own website, the only way of searching um, for entire visual collections is on our main catalog, which is designed primarily for books. So it doesn't actually offer very great functionality. So by opening up our data, we can use these kind of tools to actually um, add value to the core infrastructure that we provide. And our Wikidata Visiting Scholar has done a lot of work around Welsh printers and publishers associated with the images in our collections. So by combining our data with data from the British Trade Index, uh, Book Trade Index, and other sources, what this does is illustrate how the, a linked data platform like this can enrich your collection by combining data from multiple um, sources. So sharing with Wikidata has seen a lot of enrichment of our own data. So for people related to our collections, for example, we have seen that we can access additional data from coordinates to links to Wikipedia articles, to valuable references, and of course the external identifiers. So by being part of Wikidata, we can connect our archives via these identifiers with relevant archives in other institutions. For example, we can see when the National Portrait Gallery has a portrait for a person in our Dictionary of Welsh Biography. And we can see if we hold printed copies of original paintings in Paris galleries. It just takes a simple query and we can find these things out. So Wikidata is taking the world's cultural heritage and joining it all together. And we're now starting to use this data to improve the services that we offer on our own websites. So for example, our new Dictionary of Welsh Biography website contains a list of useful external sources which is pulled straight in from Wikidata. And there's also a link to the Wikidata item for each person at the bottom of every article. And we're at, we've actually started development on a timeline which will be powered purely by Wikidata, but will be incorporated into this website. So I want to finish um, by talking about a project that we've just started. Um, so the idea here is that we want to create Wikidata for the sum of all Welsh literature. So what we mean by the sum of all Welsh literature is data about every book of Welsh interest ever published in Wales. And we think that's around 400,000 uh, to half a million books. <laughs> and we think that sharing this data openly will not only serve the public by improving access to information, but it will open up a whole realm of possibilities for research, for education, and for developers of apps, um, software. <laughs> and it also ties in with the Wikisite initiative, which aims to develop structured data citations for Wikipedia. So step one of the project will be to create basic Wikidata for each book. And so get as much information on authors, publishers, editions, um, and start linking identifiers like ISBN, um, as well as the title of each book. And then step two will be to try and provide descriptive data, um, such as genre and subject for each book, so that we have machine-readable data describing what each book is about. And the National Library is about to embark on a major campaign to 
digitize important items from our print collection. So we hope that in the future, we can link each item to open access OCR data and digital imagery um, where the copyright allows. And we're looking to use IIIF technology to um, identify concepts within a piece of text. Um, so we're going to see what we can do with that. So we've actually started on this work. Um, we've shared all the publications for one publisher so far, um, the University of Wales Press. And this visualization shows all the works of the publisher ordered by the author who created them. This is another visualization of the data which shows the output of the publisher over time. And the different colors represent different authors. So you can start to see the research value of having this linked open data. So, just to summarize, using Wikimedia platforms has helped us to grow our audience and share our content more widely. Using Wikipedia as a platform for local volunteers has helped us to grow new communities and has led to much better coverage about Wales, its people, and our collections on Wikipedia. It's provided us with a global platform to share our digital images and our data. And it's helped us to integrate our data with this rapidly expanding global network of open cultural data. And it's helped us to grow our reputation as a forward-thinking institution. But at the same time, we've had to, we haven't had to invest hugely financially to do that because of the infrastructure that Wikimedia provides. And that's the end of the talk. Thank you very much. Est-ce qu'il y a des questions pour cette présentation Quelle est la, votre place par rapport à la communauté des gens qui participent et comment est-ce que vous faites le lien entre la communauté des Wikipédiens au Pays de Galles et l'institution Par exemple, en, en, organisation des, en organisant des... Est-ce que vous organisez des éditatons ou ce genre de choses pour vous aider dans vos projets So the question is, how do you um, collaborate with the local community um, Do you organize... Um, um, marathon events, um, editing marathons and so on, um, to work with people locally? Um, and what's, what's your role within the sort of Wikimedia community um, as a whole as well? Okay. So when we started doing this Wikimedia outreach work, we, um, we just used to organize events. We'd come up with an idea and we'd put an event on and advertise it. But what we discovered worked a lot better was linking in with other events that were happening um, and basically using those audiences that were there already. So sort of connecting with user groups, <coughs> with other conferences, other events that were happening. Um, and that's worked really well for sort of getting more people on board with the outreach work that we do. It's been interesting building a relationship with the Wikimedia community that's probably been the hardest part of the residency, is reaching out to the Wikimedia community, especially as the National Library of Wales is in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> um, so physically reaching people is quite difficult, um, which is why the, the whole sharing online is so important to us. Um, I hope that answers the question. Euh, donc, juste pour reprendre en français, euh, les, tout au début, les événements que nous avons organisés, en général, euh, étaient organisés d'une manière assez isolée. Ensuite, nous avons compris que pour, avoir, euh, pour toucher plus de personnes, avoir un public un peu plus grand, euh, c'était utile de profiter d'autres événements qui étaient organisés euh, dans la région euh, ou ailleurs, et nous avons euh, pu euh, ainsi... Euh, 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 
voilà, profiter de ces événements pour euh, rendre nos, nos collections et notre travail plus visible. Euh, ensuite, euh, ce qui était assez difficile, c'était de travailler avec euh, la communauté à Wikimedia et de vraiment s'intégrer dans cette communauté. Donc, euh, bah, d'un côté, c'était difficile aussi parce que notre bibliothèque se trouve au milieu de nulle part. Donc, physiquement, il était assez difficile de trouver des personnes avec, avec qui collaborer. Euh, mais voilà, petit à petit, nous avons quand même pu avancer. D'autres questions Bonjour, je voulais savoir avec quel outil vous avez fait vos data visualisations, s'il vous plaît. Which visualization? Okay. Um, so visualizations, some of them are done directly within the Wikidata Sparkle query service. Um, there's another tool that you can link to from the Sparkle query service um, called Raw Graphs, um, which is quite a powerful tool. Those are the main, the main two that we use. Uh, donc il y a les, les deux uh, services um, qui, qui me semblent un petit peu techniques, mais bon. Um, Déjà, il y a le, le service de requête um, Sparkle de, de Wikimedia, et puis un autre qui s'appelle Raw Graph, euh, qui a uti, euh, aussi été euh, utilisé pour faire ces visualisations. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup, Jason.